hey, we got the last Mattel wave. Well, not all of it, but last DC Mattel wave. We got Red Hood. Whoa. We got this guy, KG Beast, which I actually want to see if that piece that he has works. Yeah, I didn't get them all. I didn't need them all. So, Batman, Robin Robin. So yeah, Red Robin, not Robin Robin. We're gonna open these up. I didn't really want any, I just wanted Red Hood. Um, not sure if I do now, just by looking at them closer. But we're gonna take these out, we're gonna pop them over, take a look at them. I do wanna see though, because the crotch piece for King Shark is so hard to get, that's why I bought this guy. So I'm actually gonna have him left over. But I'm not gonna build a Killer Croc, but I did get the other two for a friend, and possibly, I just get this light out of my way since I keep hitting it. Out of my way, out of your way. So, what are we doing? It was in my mind. Stop. Losing it. All right, so let me check out, let me grab King Shark real quick and we'll take a look at it. Yeah, because I'm not gonna sit here and literally, literally waste our time on this uh, KG Beast feller. But I do wanna know if this piece works. And if I fail epically, that's okay too. It's a different color, but I can always paint it. Oh, yeah. It works. Oh, yeah. We got King Shark back in action. I know we're going to have to paint this. Probably just paint all of his legs, but that's exciting. Heck, yeah. Got the hammerhead on him right now. How cool is that? I'm excited. That's a cool. Heck, yeah. Awesome job, Mattel. Thank you for getting me a piece that was only $20 instead of me having to spend $50 to $100 on the internet. That was great. Yeah, Evil Bay, I win. Ha! So right now you guys are listening to the music from Mr. Dobes. Check him out. I'll put his link down in the description. Always in the description. The only music that will be on this channel. If you guys are looking for a beat or an instrumental and you don't want to be copyrighted and all that, get marks and stuff like that, reach out to him, let him know, super reasonable, and he'll work with you. But without further ado, let's turn this thing around and look at this Killer Kark, Killer Kark, Killer Croc, Collect and Connect. And, you know, we got most of the pieces, so let's check these guys out. Okay, so we got King Shark with his crotch piece now. Yeah, it's a different color. We can paint that. Not a big deal, but it saves a lot of money. You can even do the pants like all black or something if you wanted to. But yeah, this dude was just really cool. Still wish he kind of had more articulation like some of the build fig figures do with Marvel Legends. But we're here, and it's still a boss figure. So we'll get him out of the way. Who are we gonna open up first? Let's check out Batman. All right, so KG Beast comes with the croc head. It actually has a lot of really cool looking detail on it. Like, that's pretty awesome. I think that's cool. With the articulated mouth. What? What? That'd be cool to do a Venom with this mouth. If you have the patience and everything. Uh, Batman number five. He comes with the left leg, stage right. He comes with this head. Let me zoom in on that. And this is supposed to be Damien, right? I'm pretty sure. Should have probably read the back of the box. The guarantee is on the box. So here we are. We got Batman. He opens up. He's got no um, pivot in that, but they do have the up and down joint for the ankles. Uh, we got soft goods on the cape. Super thin. 
you could make this really cool if you wanted to. Um, Ab Crunch. Batman head. Let's check out the head. Pop that off. This one, it's a lot like the Wolverine that we've seen. Done a few times. And usually Mattel, it's not that easy to get heads off of. Um, they're usually not capable of all that. You know what, this is going to a friend and it's not really going on. So I might not push my look. Hang on. Yes, I mean, if you do toy photography pictures, that'd be a cool shot. You know, him looking kind of back with his cowl down. But yeah, that's not really going on that great. So we're just gonna take that off. Like I said, usually it's hard to get Mattel stuff off. You know what, there's also a thing. That doesn't look nice. A bit of an issue with the plastic right there. Wow. That's, uh, the part is, is, like I said, it's going to a friend, and that really is just. So I'm not going to go over KG Beast. Uh, I'll pull dude out. I just try to move his ab torso, and that happened. Just <laughs> see if he had a crunch or a peg or what was going on. Yeah, these look like hot trash, huh? Ah, well. All right, let's jump into Red Robin. So Robin here comes with the left arm for, well, with the left arm for Killer Croc. So just kind of go like that. That part goes down and plugs right in. All right, Batsy, you can stand there with your weird head. Yeah, Mattel usually isn't known for just popping heads off and stuff like that, so I'm not surprised that, that we're having issues putting the head back on. So, so far we got the left leg whoop, from Batman, left arm from Robin. All really well detailed, actually, really nice sculpts. Tend the movement's pretty good, um, no pivot on the big guy. I mean, you get like that much pivot, so that's kind of cool. I mean, it's something. The size of this guy is just going to be huge, though. So, next up is Robin. Oh, so we got the head from that KG Beast. We got Robin up next. Red Robin. Red Robin. There he is. Comes with the pole. No, the staff. Some detail on it. And he also comes with two fist hands. Don't really even need to go over articulation with these. I mean, you guys have seen them all before. All the same multiverse stuff. So, I mean, it's cool. Do a couple poses here and there. Not really my style, but that's okay. So Robin. Boop. It's going to Red Hood. It's there, Jason and Todd. So these all from DC Rebirth? I could just read the boxes. I cannot wait for McFarlane to remake these. So Jason Todd, no neck at all. I'm not gonna sit here complain because it like we are so overwhelmed with how many figures we're getting right now. Like this is a great time to be a '90s kid, a toy nerd, and just love this stuff. So I'm not gonna complain. I don't want to do that because I don't think that's cool. Um, he comes with three sets of hands though, so that's kind of cool. Um, the coat looks nice. The Red Hood logo, oops, goes all the way across the chest. So, I mean, it's not an awful figure at, by any means. So, there he is. There's his peaches right there. And yeah, I just, just with their articulation, I can't do as much as I want to with them, but they're still cool to have up on your shelf, I think. 
they aren't awful. They're, I mean, you finally get a red hood. Like I said, it comes with hands and stuff like that. So yeah, kind of a cool thing. This is all that I got from the Killer Croc Wave. The other ones were there. I did not grab them up. I actually went back to see if they're there because my friend wanted the rest and they were actually gone. So thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to come hang out for a little bit. And make sure you check out Toy Squad Originals. We're putting a lot of work in on that and trying to make it a thing, to make the thing a bigger thing. See if it's something that you might enjoy. And uh, yeah, be kind to one another. Have a great day. Bye. After uh, taking some photos of this guy, realizing these guns don't come out, unless I'm wrong, unless they do come out, doesn't look like it though. Cool Mattel, awesome job.